One chunk is the slowest gameplay type possible. Leagues is the most mental game mode possible. So, what happens if we try and smash these two concepts together? I literally don't know, but should we find out? Welcome to Leagues One Chunk Iron Man. Before we get into the rules, I want to highlight that this series is going to be directed almost entirely by you. We will be playing a regular Chunk Man, not extreme as I do in the Canifist series, because Leagues is time limited, and I don't want to be bogged down by skill capes or stupid secondary training methods. There will still be long grinds, such as in the starting Lumbridge Chunk, but they will be more manageable and more fast paced. So, what are the rules? Number one, complete all skilling challenges. This is fairly self-explanatory and I'll give details on these as and when these challenges come up. Number two, complete all collection log slots. Again, fairly self-explanatory. All items within our chunks that have a collection log slot, we have to get. <laughs> yeah, future Frey here from after I've recorded this whole video. What we're going to do is be crossing out that all collection log slots and turning that to PVM collection log slots because we stumbled across some bullshit later in the video that I was like, mm, that's not really very leagues. Leagues is kind of about getting out there and doing some wonky PVM. So yeah, we're going to focus on the wonky PVM and cross out that all and put PVM instead. Number three, we do not have to get all non-collection log best in slot items. This isn't typical for Chunk Man, but I think with the rapid progression that Leagues offers, getting bogged down having to get random best in slot mithril med helms um, and that sort of thing isn't really relevant. Number four, Leagues tasks are not Chunk tasks. I will endeavour to complete as many as possible, however there's no tidy way that I can see to integrate a rule about completing them, and so I think it's best not to try to do so in a formal capacity. Aiming to complete as many as possible and unlock new areas is going to be an integral part of what makes the next rule so fun. So, number five, the community makes the decisions. This means that all choices around relics, area unlocks and even chunks will be up to you. That's right, we are not going to be doing random unlocks in this series. Will I focus mage, range or melee? Will I take desert, Mauritania or Karend? Will I have fun or will I suffer? That's all up to you. I'll be posting polls for every decision in a variety of sources and will be acting on them frequently. So make sure to follow me on Twitter, join my Discord and subscribe on YouTube. Channel members will also have exclusive reign over some of the choices. So if you want to support me and have access to influence every choice for the account, become a channel member via my website. All the relevant links will be in the description. With that said, let's get into the live clips. Okay, so I'd absolutely love to be showing you the game right now. However, Jagex obviously can't do a game and I can't get in and it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, classic, classic. Did we expect anything else? Not really. Um, so we're going to be starting off in Lumbridge as most chunk men do. Uh, these are the tasks that we have queued up, the main ones being the woodcutting, fletching and fire making. We also have the cooking, which could be a bit of a ball lake. I'm not entirely sure, but we shall see. Uh, I, I will get the um, this best in slot, uh, even though I said in the intro I wouldn't. Um, I more mean these best in slot tasks here, of which there are loads, like the bronze square shield. Now that's stupid, but that's a skilling challenge technically at 20 attacks. So yeah, shouldn't be too bad. I also forgot to mention that I'm going to have to be doing quests and diaries. Some of these might be automatically done. I'm not entirely sure, but if they're not, we'll go and do them anyway. Uh, the cook's assistant could be a decent one to get finished at some point because it will give us some cooking XP. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll do these, and these are all pretty easy, you know, learn your age from hands, pickpocket a man or woman in Lumbridge, and chop and burn some oak logs, which we'll be doing anyway. So yeah, this is the main stuff we need to get done the first chunk. I'm hoping to get all this done in less than a day, which, uh, 
you know, chunk men of old would be like, <gasps> but I think with leagues, it should be doable. So hopefully we can get logged in soon and finish all of this off as quickly as possible. Hold up, hold up, hold up. After 46 minutes, it looks like we are in. Leagues, la, 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 la. leagues are time limited game modes, blah, blah, blah. The aim of each league is to complete the tasks and earn league points. Good stuff. Get started. Right, here we go. So I need to decide my character and I need to make sure it matches up with the thumbnail that I've already made. So this might take some time. Uh, I think it's that one. And I think we've got the double beard. Anyway, I'll come back at the end of this. Okay, there we go. So let's go, go, go. Quest icon, yeah. Okay, so we've got Dragon Slayer, the Restless Ghost already unlocked, Bone Voyage, Dig Sight. Okay, we've got quite a lot of cool stuff already done. Lost City, Nature Spirit, Priest in Peril, Tears of Gothics. Okay, cool, right. And then, is this one the League's Tasks? Open the League's Menu, 10 points. We're, we're flying right now, right. In the League's task. da-da-da. Uh, let's have a look. Cool, 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 cool. Areas. Area selection menu. Cool. Easily understood. Right, I need to click around ya. Yeah, okay, so we have to do that. Alright, cool. So can we move? Oh yeah, okay, there I am. I'm... You have unlocked the crown your area. There we go. Relics. Okay, so I think this is going to be the first choice that I have to make, and I can't obviously get your help for this one. Uh, so that one is the all the resources are doubled and banked effectively. Trickster is the agility one and the thieving one and the fire making one. However, this is going to be the one we're going to pick, Production Prodigy. So not only is it the best in terms of uh, creating stuff quickly, i.e. The, the bows that we're going to have to fletch, uh, but it's good for the cooking. Uh, full XP is given for it, so it's super quick to like get fletching XP. 25% chance that you get extra and that's banked, so it's just even better. And then the crucial one as well, for me in particular, who's having to get 60 wood cutting, fletching and fire making in the first chunk, as well as 43 cooking, is we get a plus 12 boost uh, permanently for cooking, fletching, crafting, smithing and herb law, but crucially, fletching and cooking. So the passive effect from these relics is item from some sort of advice is common. Run energy will never drain. Okay, cool. Right, so we're going to select production prodigy and get on with this then. So there's our permanent boost, which means we only have to get 43 uh, yeah, we only have to get 31 cooking and we only have to get 48 fletching, which is pretty cool, right? Um, so what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to start by banking some of this crap and then we're going to go, I guess, chop some logs to start. So as you can see, this is where we're locked into. This is as far this way as we can go. So what we need to do is just chop some logs. I'm guessing I'm going to get like a whole ass level from cutting one log. Uh, yeah, 125 XP, chop some logs, nice. So we basically need to get a full invent and then in theory, we should be able to just fletch them all instantly, which will be pretty cool. Um, okay, we're getting quite a lot of leagues tasks for doing really not a lot. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, to get the first relic unlock, which I think is at 500, right? Uh, yeah, relic unlocked at 500. So if I can get that in the first chunk, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we just keep getting loads and loads of tasks. Achieve your first level five, and it's like 10 points. I reckon almost certainly I'm going to get 500 without even really trying. So what happens if I... Where's hands gone? Uh, if I can find hands around here somewhere, then what I should be able to do is check my age, which should be a diary task, and, uh, and surely you'll get a task for checking like for getting a, a, an achievement diary task, right? There's hands, of course, we went all the way around for no reason. Uh, let's grab him. You spent eight minutes since we arrived six years ago. 
Okay, so no, that is a task for our chunk, but is not a task for leagues. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this is actually so arduous. There's so many people just cutting logs. I need to just find... I need to get to 15, and then I'll be able to get the oak logs, and then that'll just make it a lot, lot easier. But this is incredibly annoying not being able to get the, any logs very quickly. I'm just running around the whole game trying to chop logs and failing miserably. At least we've got 100% run. That's pretty neat. Uh, hopefully we can get this dead tree. Come on, dead tree. I reckon I probably need to stay over here, don't I? It's nice flying through the levels so quickly, though. Once I get the oaks, we're gonna be, we're gonna be up and running though, big time. Okay, it's also one of our chunk tasks to pickpocket a man. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, we get ten points, ten points from leagues for that too. And we're also going to head over here and buy, hopefully, a knife. Yes, so I should be able to buy that with the coins I've got. Excellent. So once we get a full invent of logs, we shall try out our production master and see how it gets on. Okay, another task for getting our first level 10, 430 point. Oh, sorry, everyone. I just broke the rules of the series. That's probably going to happen a lot because this is very hectic compared to initial chunk man on the main game. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> this is so miserable. I keep getting my logs nicked. Luckily, we're only kind of three-ish logs away from getting level 15, which will be massive. Um, yeah, there's level 14. Good stuff. Yeah, three logs to go. And just that is happening over and over again. Come on. Uh, I really need to get myself a steel axe ASAP, I reckon, because I don't think that Lumbridge is really going to calm down for quite a while and I hadn't really considered that. At least they've made the they've made the forestry changes so that oak trees and willow trees have a certain duration they kind of have to stay up for. So that should be good but yeah doing these regular logs is bloody miserable. Um one log away now from level 15 and then we can finally chill out a bit, right? Come on. Snipe the log, snipe the log. Never lucky. Come on, I think I'm the only one on the tree. There we go, level 15. Oh, I can't believe that's not a chunk task, actually. Right, let's grab, let's chop this oak tree. Uh, see if we get a task for that. I'm sure we probably will. They seem to have thought of everything. Oh, I don't indeed. Okay, that's interesting. I think if I burn one, though, I do, right? Oh, no, I won't be able to because... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. I need to get my fire making up. That should be pretty easy, right? Because I should get level 15 pretty comfortably. 200. Look at that. Burn some normal logs. So what I need to do, actually, is I was going to fletch all the logs with my new thing, but that's actually a stupid idea, isn't it? Because I'm already level 13. So if I fletch this whole invent of regular logs, I'll way overshoot 15, which is what I need for the oak logs. Um, so what I should do actually is do the fire making up to 15 so that I can do the oak logs with the tinder box and then just use the remainder of the regular logs to get the fletching level, if you see what I mean. This is very nice though, getting the level so quickly. Five times XP multiplier is a massive. Um, I'm liking that they've disabled the level up messages by default. That is very uh, forward thinking of them uh, although I'm sure they've had more experience doing this than I have because it's my first league didn't you know uh, but yeah right let's crack off okay here is level 15 fire making coming in so we're gonna get to use our production master for the first time let's uh let's just have a go shall we I'm guessing I can just make a longbow straight away 400 fletching XP and one cent to the bank that is very nice isn't it hold on Okay. Oh, for a second there, that didn't update. I thought that I wasn't going to keep... I thought, like, the 12 boost was only from 1 to 12. Okay, right, that did work as expected. So what I can do now, I'm guessing, is fletch this oak long... Okay, no, I can't make a long bow. Can I make a short bow? No. Can I make arrow shafts? Yes, I can make arrow shafts. Okay, good stuff. Right. As if that's a task. There's so many random tasks, isn't there? Okay, so I should probably be fletching frequently uh, to try and make sure that I get all the boosts that I need. Right, so that's me level 20. So once that updates, which it surely should do. Is that going to update? Should we get plus 12? I think maybe it's just, yeah, it's just a bit laggy. Okay, cool. Right, so there's my first level 20. 
Oh, no. Woodcutting was the first level 20. It's all happening so quickly. Okay, so I need to get to level 25. Then I can make the longbows. And then I need to sell them to the shop. And then get the money for a steel axe. And then that should be our best in slot for the time being. Right, let's fletch these logs into short bows and see if we can get ourselves up to level 25. Yeah, that's level 26. Nice. Right, so I'm going to sell these oak short bows to the uh, to the shop. Uh, oh, yeah, it's because I'm thinking I need to get the XP to get from level, like, whatever it was, 20 to 26. But it's only the level from, like, 8 to, uh, to 14. So, yeah, that's so much easier. Right, if I sell all these to the shop... Perfect. Okay, they don't actually sell for anything. 304 GP. I believe that's enough for the steel axe. Right. Guessing this is 200 GP. Yep, steel axe acquired. We can get rid of our bronze axe and we can just get to chopping some oak logs and leveling up those levels super, super quick. Another task is literally just to use the steel axe. I mean, who knows? There could be one for a bronze iron axe, like anything. Um, I'm guessing we're probably going to just keep getting so many points. I mean, I've already done 11 tasks. How many tasks are there? I bet there's so many. Uh, what does it say? 1,482 tasks. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely probably going to get 500 from this first chunk. Oh, yeah, I definitely will, because I imagine that I'm getting 10 points for getting, like, level 20 and stuff, but I imagine if I get a level 60 which I'm going to have to get with the wood cutting and the fire making, that's probably going to be like a bigger task, right? Where I get like 20 or 40 or 80 points or something. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do 500 in this first, first chunk. Okay, time to try this out. 14 fletching straight to level 22. That's so nice, right? And if I sell those, I'm going to get a load of GP, right? Nice. I'm going to drop those arrow shafts because I just don't really need them. Um, yeah, we're going to get 60 fletching quickly. Yes, there we go. Our first level 30 and we got 40 points uh, instead of 10. So, yeah, we are flying right now. Absolutely flying. We've only been logged in 26 minutes <laughs> and I've recorded 13 minutes of clips. For fuck's sake, why am I like this? Obtain a bird's nest. That's pretty cool as well. Clue nest, easy. I believe... They should be stacked, right? Yes, that's so good. This is so good. Leagues is literally like crack. It's like RuneScape, but you're constantly taking crack. This is so fun. Okay, second mega XP drop on the Oak Longbows. Let's see what we get. 22 to 26. So nice. Sell these to the shop. Oh, this is good stuff. Whoa. They can do spawn forestry. Who spawned the forestry event? Can you do for I didn't even know you would be able to do forestry. Look at the XP on that. Oh my god. Right, where's the... Okay, there's the next one. Look at the XP. That's nuts. 308 XP per month. My XP on the tracker, bearing in mind I have to get level 60, which is 270k XP, is over 170k XP per hour right now. So, uh, yeah, hopefully these... Uh, we keep getting more forestry events. That is very cool. I was not expecting that. Oh my god, look at the state of the level up progress. This this is just RuneScape but better. This should just be the main game. Do you get an X like a bigger XP drop at the end of Roots as well? I, f I know for some of the forestry events you do. I could see if we do get a bonus XP at the end here, this being like a massive XP drop. That would be very funny. Uh, just look at the levels flying in. The XP is nuts. Oh, uh, no, no. Okay, no bonus XP for the roots, but that was pretty good. We're up to, what, 36 woodcutting now. That's wild. That uh, is level 40 woodcutting, and we got a league's task for 40 points for that as well. So I imagine that will keep going every 10 levels, probably leveling up quite extensively. So I reckon at 60, I might get 80 points for it. Unsure, but yeah, we are flying through it at the minute. I probably should swap to... Uh, burning some logs at some point because that's going to be noticeably worse than the fletching but not too bad so far oh an entling event that's pretty cool look at the fletching xp on there wow that's pretty that's pretty good although that would only be like nine xp in the in the main game less so yeah i guess it's not that great but you know weird that forestry events are happening i i, I kind of assumed they wouldn't for some reason and here is the big one Level, go on. It's, it's going to be level 50. <laughs> level 50 woodcutting. 
Oh, nice. Yes, 40-point achievement for that. That's very nice. So that gets us a way closer to getting that second relic unlocked. Ooh, I just had a thought. I reckon there's probably a task for chopping willow logs, no? You'd you'd hope so. There was for oak logs. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves an oak log. See if fletching it and or burning it is a task. Okay, nothing for chopping. Anything for burning? No? Sad times? Uh, maybe for fletching? No? <laughs> okay, that's odd. Um, oh well, that was a nice thought. So in terms of the chunk map, what have we done so far? So we have done the thieving, and I think this is the man thieving task. No, oh, we've learned our age yet. Uh, we've pickpocketed a man, and we've chopped and burned some oak logs. So all we need to do now is the quests and finish off the skilling. We're making a lot of progress, I would say. 52 wood cutting, 53 fletching, 48 fire making so far. So we're flying through it. I'm a bit nervous on the cooking because I don't know what the method's going to be. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm just looking at the fact that I am... What? Where am I? Um, 200 points off the next relic. And then the next relic, I actually, actually get 8 times XP rather than 5 times. So kind of getting into the back end of this uh, of this chunk, I'm just going to need a lot of fire making, wood cutting or whatever XP. So what I need to try and do is see if I can get up to this second, second relic. Uh, and if I can, then I'll be able to get faster XP for the remainder. So what I'm going to do is knock out some of the other tasks, such as getting... Getting the attack level, start on the cooking if I can, um, and you know, start on some of these quests and see how we see how we get on. Okay, right, let's crack on. So we got our runes and stuff as well. I thought I'm kind of may as well just use them, right? I mean, get some get some free mage levels. I'm gonna need to kill uh, men or rats or something uh, to get. To get XP, I mean, look, it's gonna be it's gonna be very fast XP, which is good. Uh, I think I, I can kill a goblin. Is that right for a task? So I should probably just go and knock that out. Why didn't I come over here to chop trees initially? There's so many in comparison. Uh, right, let's let's see if we can get a goblin kill. Oh my god, this is gonna be impossible. Come on, you you're the one. There we go. Look at that, 20 XP per go. Not even bad, is it? Am I, like, guaranteed to hit or something? Is that a leagues thing? No. Okay, I can hit zeros. Um, yeah, these are probably going to be a bit tough for me at the combat level that I am, but I think it should be a task. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Hit. Hit for the video. Hit for the video. <sighs> you see? You see? This is what I've got to put up with. When I'm, I'm just, I'm just here, you know, slaving away, trying to make content for you guys, and the random number generators always let me down. Right, defeat a goblin, ten points, as I thought. Right, we used up our starter runes, and we managed to get ourselves uh, up to at least five magic. That's not even bad, is it? Just from like fifteen runes. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's use this on a man if we can find one. Can I just kill the man that man that they're thieving? No, that would probably be a bit troll, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, I decided just to grab one of each of these battle axes because they're presumably going to be better than anything else. Can I even kill the men? I was going to try and kill a man as a challenge, but I'm not even sure if you can kill them if people are pickpocketing them. No, okay, right. So we're going to have to try and find a man that's just spawned in to kill. Hmm. Okay, we managed to get on one. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, he's probably going to be a bit tough for me, so let's hope I can get him down. It's not going well so far. Probably need to go to the rats for a little while longer. Guess I can always water strike him. If I could hit, which would be nice. There we go. Look at that, though. The XP! Okay, nothing from that. Bury bones. That could probably be a chat task. There we go. Bury some bones. So, we need 180 more points. 
Okay, right, let's buy some shears and go and shear a sheep because that's a task that we're going to need to do. Uh, we should get... I think I think we only just need to do the, the basic one, which is like make a ball of wool. So hopefully that'll get us a task. And I think I need to home telly to Lumbridge, so I guess we can give that a go as well. Yep, that was a task there. Ten points, and let's head up to the spinning wheel and see what see what damage we can do. Here we go. Let's craft a ball of wool. There we go. That is a leagues task and crucially also a chunk task. So let's tick that off and uh, yeah, let's get back to some combat. Oh, I forgot. So because I'm doing vanilla and let's face it, this is league. So who cares? I want to grab the uh, Iron Man armor uh, just for a little bit of extra fashion scape and defense bonus. I mean, it's going to be dead content relatively quickly, but I feel like it's a uh, it's a nice to have and it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, going to just get a little bit of extra defense. I've already got 10 strength and yeah, we'll knock out this 20, 20 attack requirement pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm so happy I was able to log in two hours ago because I'm still seeing that people can't log in now and they reckon it's going to be fixed about an hour and a half from now. Imagine if I'd been one of those people that couldn't get in until like 4.30 p.m. and I'd taken the day off work to play. That would have been savage. Uh, you know, my heart goes out to those people that did that because I'm sure there are some of them. Right, here we go. Level 19, soon to be level 20 attack, so we can equip our Mithril Battle Axe. Equip a Mithril Weapon, 10 points, very nice. So, crucially though, that is our 20 attack ticked off. So, with the cooking, 42 cooking, actually cannot be done in the chunks that I have because you cannot get into the cow pen. So, it's registering the fact that there are cows here, which there are, but we can't actually get in because of this barrier here. So, that means that what I need to do is backlog that task in the chunk picker like so i can't do the chicken either pal because the chickens are over up there uh so we shall backlog that why is it picking up that i can do a chicken oh because i could get one from an imp but yeah that's not a primary training method okay uh so yeah this is kind of what it's picking up we'll backlog the chicken as well and the meat uh 60 fire making and you know all, all the stuff to do with the wood cutting to go got the quest still to do let's have a look take a plot of, pot of flour to the cook get one from the imp uh, okay take an egg that's from an imp as well does that count Talk to five. okay right let's crack up. okay so i can't actually do that task because the restless ghost is done already so we can pre-tick that for us uh, what we do need to do though is uh, rune mysteries and X marks the spot at least up until the steps that they are. All right, let's talk to the Duke. Uh, have you got any quests for me? What is it? Shows you a talisman. Da, 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 da. Start rune mystery. Yeah, so we need to go to the wizard's tower, which I can't do yet. So uh, yeah, well, we shall move on and mark that task as complete. Okay, right, let's talk to Vaos and start this X Monster Spot quest. Once we've done this, we are pretty much done with a chunk except the uh, woodcutting, fletching, and fire making. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. And I think I just need to dig at a couple of spots when they become available. Okay, north of Bob's Axes. Right, and then this is the last step we'll be able to do digging here because the next one is, yeah, out, we out west, somewhere where we can't go. Oh, I just turned up and uh, this little fella's here, which is, you know, one of the one of the things. But you can get small amounts of farming XP from doing this. So that is interesting. It's not even bad for uh, woodcutting or farming XP. Look at that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, complete the struggling sound of it. So I've got 40 things for that. 40 points for like an event that spawned that someone else spawned for me. That's pretty good. I was not expecting that. Okay, so I need kind of more forestry events to spawn then, and then I can hopefully flash through some more tasks. 
Right, I've got to go pick up my daughter from uh, from her grandma's at the minute. Apparently she's not very well, bless her. Um, but I'm kind of nervous to log out because <laughs> I'm a bit scared I won't be able to log back in again. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully you'll see me back having logged in, no problem, but we'll see. Uh, we're going quite good. 56 wood cutting so far, 53 fire making, essentially 55 fletching. So, yeah, we're kind of flying through it, aren't we? I think I, w I was thinking this was going to take all day to do this, do this one chunk, but I think I'll probably get it wrapped up fairly early on um, and we can hopefully get some more stuff done. Oh, uh, we just got 250 total, so we got 410. And I have it under good authority that as soon as I hit level 60 in a skill, in this case probably woodcutting, we're going to get 80 more points, which is going to put us up to 490. So we only need to get 10 more from the chunks that we have at the moment to get our next relic, which is very exciting indeed. So, uh, yeah, excited for that. Sorry, if, if, that's, if it sounds like I'm a bit further away from the mic, it's because I am. So uh, Stella is feeling really quite ill, so I've got her cuddled up on me at the moment whilst I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm scaping. And I'm dadding. Look at me. I can do it all. For any new viewers, Stella is my 18-month-old baby. So, uh, yeah. So, here we are. Level 60 woodcutting and 80 leagues points earned. So, we're 10 off our next relic, which is pretty big. We're close to uh, 60 fire making, and then we just need to finish off the fletching, and then we shall be rolling. So, there's two tasks that I'm not going to do as a matter of urgency in this chunk, which is uh, I can hand, I can partially do Cook's, comp uh, Cook's assistant with the loot table of imps. But because Lumbridge is so packed at the minute, there's hardly any imps wandering around for me to kill. And the drop rates on the, on the ingredients is really not great. And there's, very easy ways to get those ingredients close by. Um, if I could complete the quest with the impling with the imp loot, I probably would do it. But it's partial completion, so I just think it's not even worth doing all that for partial completion. When I get to the point where I can actually complete Cook's assistant, like when that's a chunk that gets rolled, then I'll 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 go out of my way to do it if I still have to. But I think for partial completion of a quest, something that's so time gated with all of the implings getting killed instantly um, is is just annoying. So yeah, it's just a time gate for no reason and I'll pick it up eventually. And yeah, if I do need to do the full quest and I, if I can do the full quest with the, complete, with the chunks I have, I will. Um, but yeah, not bad. 60 wood cutting all in one day. Le either Leagues is mad or I'm mad. <laughs> one of them. And here is level 60 fire making as well. So now we can cut and burn a U log, which is quite exciting. I'll never get old of uh, fletching the whole in, uh, never get tired of fletching the whole inventor once. That is so nice. So I just quickly need to knock out 48 fletching so that we can cut a U log. And then we're good to go. So. It is time. There is our last invent of oak longbows for 48 fletching, which in real terms is level 60, which means we can do the lowest level processing of the highest value resource within our chunks, which is the U log. So unlike my extreme account, I don't need to make a U shield because this is just vanilla chunks. So all I need to do is process the resource in the lowest value way possible. So all I need to do is chop this yew tree, get a couple of yew logs, set fire to one and fletch one into arrow shafts and then we are done in this chunk. We got to up to 61 wood cutting. So not having to actually get all the way to level 48 fletching really saved us there. Um, it means that we our wood cutting is actually fairly equal with our other two skills. Uh, so there's one log, 875 XP per log. That's nuts. There's a beginner clue, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, so what I'm hoping is that processing this U log or setting fire to it is going to give us some points. I don't think it will. No, sad times. And then cut it into arrow shafts. 
Again, nothing, but crucially, that is all our chunk tasks done. So let's tick these fellas off. Uh, we're clo we've got our best in slot tab closed because we're not doing that. Uh, we can't do those cooks assistant because they're hinging on the uh, the imps as we described earlier. So what we need to do now is roll a chunk. So the chunks we have are these four that we can unlock. So the first one, uh, in terms of like major grinds, we're talking 43 cooking, 10 thieving, and the ability to finish cook's assistant, which will be pretty cool. Uh, chunk two is nothing because we can't get through the toll gate without unlocking the desert. Number three is a very interesting one. So we've got 43 cooking, 15 fishing, mine some copper ore and some tin ore, smith a bronze bar, Complete Mistelin Mysteries, and it also gives us access to Xanaris, I believe, via the Shed and the Draman staff we've got in our bank. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm not Source Chunk, who is just built different and built this entire website by himself, um, I'm going to stick with the tasks that come up in this active chunk. So I can get to Xanaris, and there almost certainly is grinds within there that I could be doing, but... It is just going to be way too complicated to keep track of league specific grinds um, whilst keeping this up. And I also think it will it will bog us down in a way that will be quite annoying. Because I mean, presumably, technically, I can get to the Black Dragons and therefore would have to get a Draconic Visage or something. But I've got access to a Mithril Battle Axe, that kind of thing. I think it doesn't really work. So when I unhave all the chunks to unlock Lost City by itself and it comes up with an active chunk here, you know, complete the Lost City and then go to Xanaris, at that point is when I'll go and do, you know, all the Lost City Xanaris stuff. So I'm going to allow myself to go and see Xanaris and interact with the stuff that's there. Um, but because it's locked behind a quest that I technically haven't done yet, even though I have because it's Leagues, um, I'm not going to set any tasks in there because it, I, I just can't add all the manual stuff into here for every single time that happens because it's going to happen a lot because I'm going to be able to go to regions that I technically can't even get to, like, you know, Taranwin and stuff if I really wanted to. Um, and then chunk number four is 13 crafting, 15 thieving and the ham hideout. So in terms of what the boys picked for me, so this is the first thing that they picked is they chose chunk number three, which means what we're going to be unlocking is this chunk here. So that is quite big because it unlocks cooking for us. So we're going to have to get 43 cooking or well, 42 cooking and we get 12 levels. So we're going to need to get 30 cooking, 15 uh fishing we're gonna have to mine some stuff yeah pretty cool we've unlocked a primary mining and smithing method which will be good and uh yeah i'm excited to get stuck into some other grinds after spending so long in the first chunk oh for fuck's sake i didn't even know that was a task someone just told me there's a task to chop a hundred willow logs which i didn't bother doing even though i could have done it in the last chunk that's so annoying but i imagine what i'm gonna get is i'm probably going to get some tasks from this chunk, fletching, smithing, etc. I imagine some of that will shake out some uh, some tasks. So we're, uh, whatever we unlock next as a uh, as a task, we're going to be getting the next relic. So uh, yeah, we're going to be asking the guys on Discord what we want. Reminder, you know, follow me, uh, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, uh, become a channel member. All of those. There we go. You've unlocked enough to unlock a tier two relic. So we got level two fishing but more importantly there is our relic so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting out polls like this one that i've just done uh to just to decide what we're going to be unlocking so you know channel members will get the the biggest and the beefiest ones you know as a thank you uh you know they get the most responsibility and then you know discord and youtube and my twitter will also be getting a selection as well so uh yeah exciting stuff so follow me on all of those what shall we pick for the second relic so we've got a choice of fairy's flight or globe trotter uh so globe trotter is essentially all the teleports from the player owned house jewelry box and uh portal nexus 
So, you know, quite a lot of stuff, uh, quite a lot of sort of bog standard stuff. And then the second one is Fairies Flight, which is uh, fairy rings, spirit trees, tall leprechauns, that kind of thing. So interesting teleports in Fairies Flight, but I'm not entirely sure if it's better, so to speak. Um, it was a close one in the Discord, but it was Globetrotter that won. So we're going to be picking that. We're also going to be getting our XP multiplier boosted which is very nice there we are confirming globe trotter oh shit what did that say i need to <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch that recording back or something i didn't see where it said to go because it said to go somewhere to get my item didn't it uh oh did i not even unlock it okay i need to go to a bank to do it okay right run back to the bank Right, let's unlock this. I think I can just do it standing here. Is that correct? There we go. And there is our globe trotter pendant. Exciting stuff. So let's equip that. It looks very nice on. Lovely. So let's see what we can do next. So, all right. So I can teleport to some cool places. I can't actually teleport to any of them yet because my chunks don't let me but it'll be interesting when i can so what jewelry can i do champions guild edgefield crown jet crane oh, okay cool right that's that's really not too bad is it i must say i'm absolutely loving the uh 8x xp multiplier the 80 xp per shrimp is very nice and that 15 fishing requirement is going to get knocked out very very quickly and yeah the 43 cooking will not be long after okay i believe that i'm going to be able to uh, cut, uh, cook all of these raw shrimp in one go. So let's see if we can. So we're going to go from level one to level 19 cooking. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there is 15 fishing, which means uh, I should now be able to catch an anchovy which itself will be the chunk task complete, which is very nice. And then we just need to wrap up with the cooking and get up to uh, get up to level 30. Not too bad. The anchovy was also a leagues task, which is a pretty nice. We're up to 540 now. That's 660 to the next relic. Oh, I think that's going to fly by, to be honest, even incidentally. Uh, never mind if I actually try and go out of my way to do some... 320 XP per anchovy. <laughs> that's nuts okay so we got all the stuff we're 29 cooking and i think there's a task to cook something on the lumbridge range so we'll do that uh, i need to get one copper ore and one tin ore to make a bronze bar with uh, so i may as well grab that while we're here uh, i'm not gonna be able to get one am i okay there we go right mine some copper ore as a task very cool Let's get ourselves another tin ore. What level did that get us? <laughs> level four. I mean, that's wild, isn't it? Right, so let's head to the home tally, smelt these into a bar, and then complete the cooking on the range, and then let's see where we're at. So let's cook this stuff on the range. Oh. Ah, oh, if I... I can't <laughs> because of the because uh, I need to do cook assistant first, which I can't do yet. Uh, so let's just chuck these on there. There is level thirty. Chuck the shrimp on as well. I love the, this production relic. It's so good. Right, level thirty-two, and then we need to go find the range. So here we are. Let's chuck this into the furnace. Get ourselves our bronze bar, and then let's have a look at the chunk task list. So this is where we're at, catch some raw anchovies, that's done, mine copper ore, that's done, and smell a bronze bar, that is also done. So what we need to do now is complete Mistle and Mystery and actually do the cooking of the onions. So I believe the onions are upstairs in the general store, is that correct? Yes, so I can grab an onion there, and I think what I need is a knife and a bowl? Uh, to make it so that and that uh, so what do I do use the knife on the onion no use the bowl on that uh, oh yeah there we go okay chopped onion and then I just presumably just need to actually use it on fire right there we go onions fried 
Right, and with the fried onions, that is 42 cooking done. And we just need to do Mistlin Mysteries. Yeah, we just need to do Mistlin. Oh, sorry, that's because I was uh, checking the grinds on number four. Um, oh, it's because I'm in Sandbox, that's why. So I just need to go off Sandbox. There we go. Uh, yeah, so done the cooking grind, done everything else. That's all the skilling grinds done. That's all that done. There is Mr. Lin Mystery, and that is all we need to do to finish the, finish the chunk. So you get 600 crafting XP from this quest, and I'm not entirely sure if it scales or not. If it does, I'm probably going to get actually quite a lot of crafting levels from this, because I am only level 1 crafting. Right, let's go complete the quest and see what our XP drop is. I think I can get like some gems and stuff as well. They're not too useless to me. What did she just say? Did she just say leave? Uh, oh, for goodness sake. Right, there we go. Why can't I just drop the like one sapphire on the floor? 600 crafting HP, which actually turned to 4.8k. So we've got 20 crafting in one hit. That's not bad. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to... Why is that stopped at 25, I wonder? That's interesting. Oh, there we go. 32. Um, okay, cool. Right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Okay, this is where we are at at the moment. 339 total level. Really not too bad. And uh, yeah, we've got some good stuff. Got our pendant unlocked. Uh, but the next chunk. So our options are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the Discord have... Ch so, so, so number one, uh, we've got... Uh, well, number one here, nothing. Number two... Thieving, Cook's Assistant, not too bad. Number four is a kind of semi-death chunk because we've got 70 mining, 70 smithing. Uh, and then number three is 13 crafting, 15 thieving, and access to the ham hideout. And also kind of starts pushing us further into the map. So, uh, yeah. What do we think they, they chose? So, the Discord members chose... Drumroll. Chunk number three, 13 crafting, 15 thieving, and the ham hideout access. So we do have the crafting level already. Uh, we just need to go and get a jade, or is it a jade or an opal? One of them, and cut it. And yeah, let's, let's uh, and then I think I just need to thieve men to get to 15 thieving, and then I can thieve the, uh, the ham members. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm glad the uh, Discord members stayed away from the level 70 mining and 70 smithing. That would have been bleak, even with all these upgrades. Right, let's kill this imp while we're here, see if we can get it down. So let's unlock chunk number three. There we go, calculate our tasks. And there we go. So we've already cast the wind strike, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh, we need to get six mining to use a steel pickaxe. That's pretty cool. Oh, and 30 smithing for a steel bar. Where's it picking that up from? Ham guard drops iron ore on coal ore. Ooh, <laughs> that's a bit of a brutal one. Um, that's fine. Um, doesn't particularly matter. 30 smithing will be next to no time because we've got the plus 12 boost in smithing, I believe. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, 13 crafting, which we've got. So yeah, I guess the main thing we need to get on with is the thieving and the smithing. So one place I can teleport with my pendant is Lumbridge. So that's going to actually be very, very handy because I'm going to be able to teleport from the... Nice. See these server lags? Jagex. Sort it out. Uh, I'm going to be able to teleport from the mine over there back to Lumbridge to do the smithing. So yeah, that grind's really not going to be too bad. I need to pickpocket some men. Uh, swap left click to pickpocket so that I can get to level 15 to do the ham guards and this probably take a little while because I haven't got any relics to help me with thieving I mean look at all these guys with the trickster relic just constantly thieving never failing it's very nice for them uh not so nice for me but luckily level 15 is very low so it shouldn't take me too long anyway Ooh, open 28 coin pouches at once is a random leagues reward there's gonna be so many random things isn't there uh, so there is level 14, as long as we can keep succeeding, which we cannot. 
Uh, that was a very quick grind. Uh, th that thieving relic could have been really fun, though. I think I think I've seen that some people are 99 thieving already, <laughs> which is quite wild. Um, we're about to finish 19, uh, 15 thieving. I really thought that I'd need more food <laughs> than I did. Uh, but there's 15 thieving. That's going to let us do the ham guard. So what I'm going to do now is bank all this food, and then we're going to go do the smithing grind. Cool, so there is a full invent of tin and copper. That got us up to level 18 mining, so hopefully this will get us pretty decent smithing XP. I'm, I'm enjoying having the Globetrotter pendant unequipped and just being able to left-click last destination. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what the smithing XP drop is on there. 793, and I got four extras in the bank. That's pretty nice. I should be able to smith these, I believe, uh, but I'm going to need to grab a hammer from here. Hopefully they sell one. They do. Uh, I don't know if I should make anything in particular. I'm guessing it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, hopefully I can make plate bodies, though, so it's quick. Oh, I make them instantly as well. That's so nice. So I guess it doesn't actually matter if I make plate bodies or not. Yeah, because I'll make everything instantly. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's sell these to the shop and see what we get for them. My guess is probably not a lot, but probably worth doing anyway. Uh, a couple hundred GP, not too bad. But yeah, 15 smithing from there. Oh yeah, use the pendant. I keep forgetting. It's so hard having all this overpowered stuff. Oh, boohoo me. Uh, yeah, 15 smithing, so we only need to get a little bit more, three more levels, and then we can stop with the smithing. I'm absolutely gutted that I made those bars into uh, plate bodies because I could have made them into knives, which would have actually been really sick for uh, for range. Oh, uh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'll, I'll make the rest of them into knives. All right, let's chuck these in. I will never get bored of making them all at once. There we go, level 17, one level to go until our chunk goal. So, yeah, I can't make darts, but I can make knives, and I should make them all instantly. Oh, very nice. So that's 60 very good range weapons for us and 20 smithing. So now I just need to go to the ham guards, thieve one, and also, oh yeah, get the steel and the coal, uh, get the iron and the coal and make a steel bar. And also cut a jade. Cut a jade. I need to remember to do that. Okay, so there is an easy task, which is also a chunk task, and we just got to thieve these, I guess, until we get a steel pickaxe and a br and the stuff for steel bars. Uh, is that thievable? I'm going to have to check the drop table. There's a jade that I need to get, so hopefully I can get my hands on one. Uh, I can't, oh, this is going to be miserable 15, like 16 thieving, isn't it? Oh, uh, because getting, getting back in, it took me about a minute to get back in because picking the lock on that took so long. Okay, so the steel pickaxe uh, and the jade and the coal and the iron are all one in 50. So I could be here a while, particularly if with a low thieving level and keeping chucking me out. Uh, this may actually not be enough food this time, but hopefully we can get lucky on some stuff. Oh, a leather body is actually pretty nice because that's some legitimate range gear right there. So that's pretty cool. Ham gloves are cool. Polish the buttons. 40 crafting XP. That's not even bad. Okay, we got the jade, but I totally forgot to get the chisel for it, which isn't the end of the world because I'm going to have to go back to Lumbridge to smith the bar anyway. Uh, so yeah, we still need the bar and we still need... Not the bar, the coal and the iron, and we still need the pickaxe as well. Hopefully we can wrap those up quick. Right, so I've restocked on food, because this grind is definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Even at 23 thieving, we are failing a lot. Uh, let's cut our jade, though. Hopefully we don't crush it. Good stuff, good stuff. So that is one task down, three to go. Okay, we've got the coal and the iron now, so all we need to grab now is the steel pickaxe, mine something with it, and then we should be de done with the chunk. Good time. As if we just got two coal in a row. <laughs> and there is the steel pickaxe. Good times. All right, let's go uh, do all the stuff we need to do, uh, and then we should be able to roll again. Cool, so we actually got all the stuff to make three steel bars, so I guess I'll make all of those. I won't actually make them into anything yet. 
Why did it only make one? That's weird. Is it because it's a task? Two coal. I didn't know that. Oh, that's good. I would have come here with just one coal. <laughs> okay, we made a steel bar though, which is good. Now we're just going to need to go and use our steel pickaxe so we can get rid of our bronze one. Getting the uh, points for melt smelting that steel bar was pretty cool. Uh, 600, uh, 570 to go until the next relic. And uh, yeah, we can go and I just need to go mine some uh, copper or tin from over here. Technically use that steel axe. And then that'll be all the tasks done. Okay, there we go. Mine some ore with a steel pickaxe. 10 points as well. Uh, so there we go. Uh, yeah, so if we go to the chunk map, six mining, use a steel pickaxe, tick that off. That is everything done except those imp steps that we've described before. And yeah, I mean, we need to roll. So we're either going to be rolling drain or mana. Well, not drain or mana, this part of drain or village or over here or one of these two, three that we've already got. But I'm guessing they're probably going to pick something up or one of these two. Exciting times. Let's go. Okay, we've seen a little bit of a spread in the voting this time, but we are going for chunk number five. So we're talking 45 cooking, 43 crafting, 35 smithing, 38 thieving, and a couple of other extra little things. But there we go. Let's calculate. Have a look at the test. 45 for a meat pizza. I've got to cut a diamond. Where do I get the diamond from? Wise old man tasks. Interesting. Uh, no idea what that means. Make a secateur's attachment. So I need an iron bar for that. Lucky I've got an iron bar in my invent. I believe I've got an iron ore in my invent, I believe. And then I just need to get 38 theme for Master Farmer. So how are we doing against those? So the crafting, we need nine crafting levels. We need... Uh, we need... Oh, we got the cooking level. That's that's good. Uh, one more level of smithing and then four more thieving levels. And the thieving is going to be the worst part of that for sure. But looking good. Right, let's go... Uh, Let's go get that iron bar ready for the secateur's attachment um, and then find out what I need to do for that wise old man task. Okay, let's hope we don't fuck up either of our iron bars. So let's make those. Good stuff, right? We, we messed up one, but we got the other one, which is good. We can, though, use our pendant to get over to Draenor, which is very nice. Loving having that pendant so far. Um, so I need to talk to the wise old man. Apparently he can give you a task. But I guess it's RNG whether I can do that within the chunks. So you're a wise old man, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Uh, come on. Uh, could I have some free stuff? Is there anything I can do for you is probably the one. Could you please take a message to the high priest of Entrana for me? Here's the letter. Uh, okay, can he give me another one or not? Or is that me locked out of having to get that for now because I can't get the diamond? Um, I don't want to do this task anymore. Okay. Freshly cooked anchovy, perfect. So he wants eight anchovies. Odds on me having uh, eaten them all? Yep. <laughs> okay, so I just need to go fish some anchovies and then I can get the diamond. Okay, cool. Ha! <laughs> okay, so I messed up. So Vanilla Chunk doesn't actually need you to get every single collection log item. Uh, it's only some. So it's only the ones... Mm, I don't know which ones it is. It's none. It's just best in slot, isn't it? Okay, so we decided we'd ignore best in slot. So... I mean, what's in this chunk, which has just dawned upon me, is forestry, right? Um, I mean, technically, I could presumably green log forestry here, or close to it, at least. Anything that doesn't require interesting logs. Um, I could, in theory, get that stuff right. It's going to take a long, 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 long time. Um, 
But I think that's kind of stupid, isn't it? I think that's against what I'm trying to do with the One Chunk series. The idea of this One Chunk series is to sort of blast through everything. Um, so what I've done is actually messed up because Vanilla Chunk, as per the Chunk Picker, doesn't actually have a collection log section. Uh, it's just the skilling challenges and the best in slot items. So, yeah, I've kind of messed up in that regard, haven't I? Mm, okay, so... <laughs> change of rules <laughs> so uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop the collection log thing and we're just going to go for PVM uniques I think that is probably better for the chunk man thing as a whole I don't mind doing the skilling challenges I think that's really integral to what chunk man is but I think the, the obviously the stupid best in slots at the moment like the iron full helm and that is just uh, oh. It's pointless as part of, of as part of leagues. Like leagues is supposed to be fun, right? And fun involves doing PVM with busted gear and just having a wild time. Um, so getting all that stuff doesn't counter. Uh, collection log also. I think non PVM collection logs. Like, do I really want a green log forestry on leagues for no reason without any kind of boosted rate to it at all? No, that would be <laughs> really really bleak. Would take like a week. And I'd be like 200 mil wood cut in and just wouldn't be having a good time, right? So, yeah, what I meant by all collection logs was <laughs> all PVM collection logs. And I hope that you guys can get behind that because, you know, I want to have fun on this account and not just spend it doing forestry for ages. Chunk Picker, uh, uh, it's me messing up my intro that I made yesterday, thinking that Vanilla Chunk actually made you get collection logs when actually it doesn't. So, yeah, we'll make the uh, Secateur's attachment as per the shop. Uh but other than that, we won't. So for the Secretor's Blade, uh, we need 20 Anima Refuge Bark, 10 Oak Logs, and 5 Willow Logs. And that's all pretty easy to get. So, yeah, I'll do that now. I'll also buy a Forestry Kit because having a uh, having some kind of uh, cape slot is nice, right? I'll tell you what, the 300 XP drop per Oak Log is fucking nice. Can't wait to see what the Willow one is. 540 XP per leg uh, per log chop. That's wild. I actually love leagues so much. So, so much. Right, let's grab this smithing level real quick. Use all those. Let's make them into some bronze knives again. Cool. Right, where's the knives? Knives, there they are. Cool. Let's make those. And then we shall teleport over to Draenor Village yet again. And uh, yeah, let's go to... Hello, clan. Is that a clan member? I think that's a clan member. And let's go over to the forestry shop. Got the 35 smithing now, so we should be able to just grab one of these. Got the oak clogs, got the willow logs, got the animal refuse bark. Let's go. Cool. All right, so we've got one of those. Craft it. What does that involve? Does that do anything? Okay, there we go. Right, and then what do you actually use the Secretor's Attachment on? <laughs> I've got no idea. Oh, probably the Forestry Kit, right? There we go. Okay, cool. Understood. So that is that task kick ticked off. Uh, now we just need to go and get the thieving. And what are the ingredients for the pizza? Where do I get those? Plain pizza, cooking. Cooked meat, Ugh, lame. Although I could get that from a rat, I think. Uh, cool. Nice, right, sorry. So the options for getting uh, the pot of flour was either an imp or a black knight, and we just killed a random imp and got one. So I think it was probably only about five or six imp kills we got. There's spawns over there, but for some reason they don't spawn there. They spawn behind the castle. Uh, but we got that, which is good, because that means we can now make the pizza. So pizza base. And then I just need to find out how to get tomato somehow. And I have no idea how to do that. But first, what we're going to be doing is um, spinning this uh, spinning this wool and seeing what, uh, what we can get out of it. So can I spin a rope? Is that more XP? No, that's yeah, I care. Okay, so I can only spin these balls of wool. That's not a lot of XP, is it? Ooh, okay, right. What's going to be our best crafting method, do we think, then, to get to get to uh, 43? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I think both of these items might actually be in Aggie's house. Looks like they are. Tomato and cheese. Good stuff. So use that there. Up. Oh. <laughs> As if the eat was the right click, for fuck's sake. Uh, odds on us being able to hop smoothly. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I heard from a good source that these chickens that I got from... Uh, from the ham members can be used as the meat on the pizza. So what I need to do is just quickly cook this in a proper oven. Is there another range? I don't think I can do that task because I'd need to use the range in the castle now. And the range in the castle I can't do until I've finished Cook's Assistant. And I cannot finish Cook's Assistant. Is that right? Uh, Cook's Assistant, what does he need? Oh, I'm going to have to go have a look, aren't I? <laughs> and this is exactly why we're not green logging forestry on our fast-paced league series. Because uh, that would be stupid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My sharp eyes have seen that there may be a range in this building over here. There is. It's just technically not in the first chunk. That's so interesting. Okay, right. Let's hope we don't burn our pizza. We didn't. 2.2k pizza. So much. Uh, and then we'll use our cooked chicken on it, I think. And there is our meat pizza. Very nice. Right. So that is another task done. Let's tick that off. Uh, bacon meat pizza. And now we just need to get that crafting level. 43 crafting. Luckily, we only need to get 31 because of the relic. Oh, and we need to get the 38 feeding from the Master Farmer as well. Okay, right, let's do it. I think regular men is probably just going to be the way. I th imagine my thieve, uh, my fail rate on these is quite low now. If I can... Okay, I can fail them, but yeah, the, the fail rate will be quite low and the XP is quite quick and I only need to get, what, four levels anyway. Uh, so that's not too bad. I'll tell you what, those trickster boot things, I think... Is it, they tri is it the trickster relic? Those boots, though, look fucking cool. Right, we got our... Anchovies, so we should be able to give these to him now. Why is it just giving me... Oh, don't tell me the fucking diamond isn't guaranteed. Oh, for fuck's sake, right? How much... Oh, God, what's this going to cost? What, how much time is this going to cost me? Okay, interesting. So I just tried to do another task, and it's asking me to deliver this letter to... Uh, what, where's the letter gone? <laughs> okay, I'm now confused. Oh, you seem to have let stored on my back. Okay, right. So it wants me to d d like drop off this letter, uh, but I can't actually do it because Thurgo is to the south of Port Sarim, all the way over here. So I can't do that. Can you? Can you get locked out of these tasks or can you just always reset for another one? I'm kind of hoping I can get locked out. I don't want to do this task anymore. Okay, you better complete the next one. Is there anything I can do for you? Okay, so I can't go there. All right, can I just re reject that as well until I can get one that I can do? So the drop rate on this, on this diamond, I've had a look, is like crazy low so it's it's weird it's really low so it's a six percent chance as a reward to roll the gem table on the gem table it's then a one in 128 as far as i can tell to get a diamond so that means it would take over a thousand of these tasks and they're not easy necessarily i mean you saw what that one was it was make 10 bronze bar bronze axes which is going to take a long time so i'm going to backlog that for now and uh see if that's what we want to do because uh, i don't know if i want to waste that much time on leagues doing you know i mean look i've done crazy grinds on my extreme one chunk in the cannabis edition i don't mind on that account but this just seems stupid like for leagues um this was kind of to try and do some pvm in a sort of one chunky kind of way um i don't necessarily want to get 
spend loads and loads of time doing shit like getting an uncut diamond from this at a one in 1500 rate or something that just seems stupid so um i might backlog that for now and then i'll ask you guys in the video if you think i need to do it so i also need to read this notice board because that is a task apparently i think it starts a quest for us does it yeah there we go and then I also need to, so I can't actually go and do that quest because I need to go to the Falador farm. And then I also need to do that X marks the spot up to a certain amount as well. And I also need to kill a zombie uh, within the Draenor sewers, which are over there. Right, zombie killed. Good times. That's one more task done. Now I just need to head to... Lumbridge so that I can grab a spade and finish uh, well not finish nearly finish X marks the spot Hey, we just got the egg that we need for uh, Cook's assistant from a random imp good times right. I just need to where is the X marks the spot quest Right. Okay dig northwest of the drain or jail by the wheat farm. Okay. Good times <laughs> <laughs> How does it think that's in the chunk? That is categorically not in the chunk. Okay, let's give it a dig. Oh, we can grab it from here anyway. Okay, good stuff. Right, dig in the pen just west of where Martin the Master Gardener is. Uh, and, uh, oh, and I think this will be the last one that I can do before I need to go to Port Sarum and speak to Vaos over there. So we could finish this quest with the next chunk unlocked though. So regarding this, I think I've decided what I'm going to do. So you can get uncut diamonds fairly commonly from random events. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the 43 crafting and then I'll uh, I'll consider that task done. Um, and then when we get an uncut diamond from a more legitimate source, then I can do the task then. So I think that's kind of fair because... Um, Vanilla chunk, you do kind of backlog quite a lot of stuff anyway. And obviously meme grinds shouldn't be a thing. I mean, I don't even do meme grinds necessarily uh, on my extreme chunk all of the time, depending on what they are. So I think, yeah, I think, you know, doing 1500 of those tasks just for, just for an uncut diamond to cut when I could just get one at any point anyway... Uh, from a random event or something just seems a bit dim on a time limited game mode so yeah i'll get the 43 crafting so i can cut the diamond but i won't actually get the diamond to cut i think that's a bit silly and there is 38 thieving thieving god i always struggle with that but only when i'm on camera do i struggle with that um but yeah thieving 38 let's go the thieve martin the master farmer uh, tick off that task and then I think we're done except we're getting the 43 crafting so uh, there we go complete a task pickpocket master farmer 40 points for that as well which is very very nice so let's see how much XP this actually gets us for a full invent 680 that's terrible we're in leagues with 8 times XP rate and that's still terrible uh, 39 so 4 more levels to go not too bad but yeah that could be better Oh, here we go. This is one of our shots at the diamond. I think it's a 1 in 70... Lame. Yeah, I think it's a 1 in 75 from Rick Turpentine for an uncut diamond. So, yeah, not too bad. I think the, the that one with the like the molly and dot, whatever it is, that one uh, with the evil twin is actually better. Um, and there's another one that's better as well. Uh, the Prison Pete one. The Prison Pete one is quite likely to get the diamonds. Oh, fuck's sake sorry <laughs> wasn't paying attention and just ran into the chunks that i don't have oh for fuck's sake um this has been <laughs> this has been sloppy as you can tell i've been up for too many hours at this point it's quite late at night now and i've been playing all day and uh yeah i'm getting sloppy um but yeah xp not great i'm getting sloppy which is why i'm so as soon as as soon as i upload this video i'm going to bed so it'll be a total surprise to me to see how well it does in the morning uh but yeah this is slow and hopefully we can get an uncut diamond from a good source kind of soon because uh, it doesn't it doesn't stick like stick well with me uh kind of backlogging a task like that um 
because you probably technically could do it. I just think it's kind of against what I want to do with this series. So I hope I get it soon so it doesn't kind of bother me for too long. Uh, but yeah, let's let's just knock out this 43 crafting and let's, let's call that a good job. Okay, right, there is level 31 crafting, which means 43 for the a diamond is complete. Let's tick that off our... Uh, our board and there we go everything done so time to roll so we need to add this this and this to the selection and we're not actually going to do that in this video i'm going to leave that choice up to you guys so uh yeah i'm going to hit upload now get this out there and uh, yeah this choice will be ready for you to pick on in oh i'm not sure where where shall i post it i don't know but uh yeah thank you for watching you guys will find a way to vote on this i'm sure and i'll see you guys in the next one